Hello guys and welcome back on Hollywood Illusion for the second part of the Ground Impact tutorial. Today we are going to talk about how to composite destruction debris in After Effects with this scene based on Man of Steel. So we've got this shot we've created earlier with 3D Studio Max. We've created all these fragments and debris in 3 dimension. However, it lacks some realism when Superman lands on the ground. And this is because we need to add some dust when the impact happens, as well as some smaller particles that fly away from the impact. We are going to do all that with Trapcode Particular in this tutorial. If you're new to the channel, my name is Alex and my objective is to show you how to recreate iconic movie scenes with your computer. For each tutorial, you can get all the project files directly from HollywoodIllusion.com. So let's get started with the tutorial. Trapcode Particular is a plugin that allows you to add particles to your composition and make them look real. The first step here is to create a layer, I will call it dust, and add the Trapcode Particular effect. Ok, now we want our particles to be emitted from the impact location. I've got a tracker that corresponds to the position of Superman. The only thing I need to do here is to go to Emitter, I'll click on the position clock and drag it to our Superman's position. That's great, but we want the particles to start appearing only when the ground is fractured. So I'm going to set the number of particles per second to zero. Click on the stopwatch, go to the frame in which the ground starts to fracture and set it to 5000. Then the number of particles has to decrease over time, so move the time indicator a little bit and set the number of particles back to zero. Ok, let's talk about the behavior of our particles. We want a dust smoky look, so we need to decrease the life of our particles, add a bit of randomness, decrease the size of our particles, and add some size randomness. And finally decrease the opacity and also add some randomness to make it even more realistic. We can also decrease the size of our life as well as the opacity of our life. That's good, but as you can see, the particles are flying uniformly in all directions. What we want are particles that move along the ground. So to do that, simply select disk under the directions and rotate it 90 degrees. That's better. Here comes the fun part. To blend the particles with our scene, we need to tell After Effects that some particles need to be behind the 3D fragments of our shot. To do that, we need a Z-depth pass. This pass is a black and white map generated by your favorite 3D renderer that basically tells you the proximity of the objects to the camera. So the whiter the pixel, the closer the corresponding 3D point to the camera. We can use this map to tell After Effects to avoid displaying particles on the brightest area here that corresponds to the debris and the ground. To do that, we just need to select Luma Inverted Mat and increase the size of our particles. It looks way better. Now the final touch. To make it look like smoke or dust, we just need to select Sprite under the Particles type and add a new sprite which is a picture of a cloud. You can find it in the project files. Add a bit of rotation randomness and that's it. Now let's add some jumping particles, like snow particles projected away from the impact. To do that, simply duplicate what we have done earlier, select sphere as the particles type, decrease the size of the spheres, and increase the opacity of the particles. We also need to increase the velocity to 200 to make the particles really projected away from the impact. Finally, as a final touch, Enable the motion blur on both layers. And that's how you composite dust and debris in a ground impact scene. Hope you liked this tutorial guys. If you did, you can like and subscribe to support the channel. 
and I see you soon for another exciting project.